All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I just showed you a little pan, uh, panoramic view of kind of what we're, we're gonna deal with today. And when we burnt this area last weekend, we were trying to get these cattails and reeds burnt back a little bit also, but we lost our wind direction and we just didn't get them burnt good enough. So um, I'm gonna take, I have a, it's a Troy built weed eater. It is the 1825 EC. And then I've got an extension pole on it. And then I've got this, um, it is the AH721. It's a, the hedge trimmers on it. And I think this will give me enough reach to get out comfortably and get a lot of this, uh, these cattails and reeds trimmed back. And I got my boots on because it's going to be wet through here. And I got a time lapse going. So let's go ahead and get started. So that's the objective for today. I've also got um, over in my father-in-law's septic area, which is right over, over there. You can see I've got some trees and stuff like that I need to get picked up. So. Um, the goal of this video, goal of today, is get as much of this trimmed as I can on this side. Because the kids want to come down here and fish. Because if I, if I pan back up this direction here. So this, this up here is where the house is going to be. And the kids will have like a walkway down right through here and eventually maybe have a dock coming out onto the pond here. Let's get this cleaned up and uh, I'll take you along with me. All right, so I've already started this up. Um, I went, this is the first time I'm using it this winter and I had to go put a, a new primer bulb on it because it was cracked. So I got that done and I've got, gotten it, Gotten it to fire up once. This thing's usually a little cold blooded and I have to give it gas while I try to start it. Okay. And. There's some grass over here that's kind of there, and actually a really big. <laughs> Really big reed. It handles the small stuff pretty good. It's just when it gets down into those bigger reeds, the bigger stocks, it kind of doesn't want to cut them real bad. Some of them are a little, like this one here, is just a little big. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, oh, boys, let's take a break. Whew. All right. So is it working? Yes. Is it working great? Not as great as I hoped. So the teeth, there's these gaps, these openings in between these things. And they're just a little too narrow to really get all the way in there for it to cut. So if the spacing on, on these little teeth right here were a little wider, I think it'd be working amazing. But, I mean, it's looking better. Do you guys know, do they make a, a hedge trimmer that has bigger teeth that you can put on one of these? Wider openings? If they did, that's what I need. All right, let's get a little stretching in. Holy cow, getting old. Arms are, arms feel like they weigh a hundred pounds. Whew. Okay. Be able to walk out here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks bad. That was a deep hole. <laughs> oh, that sucks bad. Oh. Ah, oh, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, boys. <laughs> <sighs> Still got my mic. Oh man. Video. Ah. Alright, let's just keep moving. Oh man. That was flat. How deep was that hole? That's crazy. <laughs> Well, I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get it right now. Um, let's move on to going and picking up all those trees over there. Although they're just dead cedar trees. So they were dead before we burned. So um, let's take the Kubota BX23S over there. Get them all picked up. We'll throw them in the burn pile. And I think that's going to be a good day's worth of work. Because I'm tired. <laughs> All right, let's go over there. Okay guys, I think that's gonna call this one. I do have a special segment I wanna do right now. I got some stickers from some other YouTubers, so let's switch to that so, right now. We're gonna do uh, a little sticker time. Um, I sent my stickers off to a few guys and I just received some in the mail from them. So let's go ahead and open them up. And then I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be like Ross on the land. What he does is he has the canopy of distinction, okay? And I am going to, I don't really have a good name for it, but I'm gonna do the same thing with my cab roof, the cab lid here, and put my stickers on the inside of the cab up underneath. So let's open this first one up. I'll put this one right here. This one is from Mitch over at MJA Doing Stuff. Look at that, he's got a sticker on the back there. That's pretty amazing. MJA Doing Stuff envelope sealers. It's 
fancy. So we got a business card, MJA doing stuff business card. That's fancy. Holy cow. We've got this size, MJ doing stuff. We've got an oval one. And then we've got a reverse. Well, it must be, maybe it's white. I'm not sure what, maybe it'll be orange. It'll probably be white. That is awesome. Thank you, Mitch. If you, have, if, if you guys aren't subscribed to Mitch, um, he has got a B-series tractor. And he's first and foremost known for his fabrication because he made this sick grapple that he put on his three point to be able to haul logs around from scratch. Dude can fabricate, he's funny, and he's got, he puts out great content. And I think he is putting up a pole barn. So he's been storing his tractor in a shed right now, and he is going to film the whole thing, putting up the pole barn, doing on that, all that. So we look forward to that content, uh, Mitch, and thank you very much for the stickers. That is awesome. All right, let's open the next one. The next one is from Lucas over at Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead. And, uh, and here's a sticker. So if you guys haven't gone and checked out Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead, um, he is, he's got a BX23S with like 300 hours on it. So he's, the dude has ran his machine and he's put out uh, rev like one year reviews or 100 hour reviews, 200 hour reviews, things like that and um he is he just built a three car shop that is i i want to say it's black or it might be dark gray i can't remember but um and he he documented the whole thing he just poured his own concrete and the last video i watched was him putting up his two post lift in it so if you're curious about that kind of stuff uh he's got a pond his his him and his boys go out hunting and fishing and doing all that kind of fun man stuff, riding four wheelers, um, all kinds of good content. He's got pigs and, and uh, chickens and a, what's, what's one more fact? There was a, was it a Dollar General just got built across the street from his house, so how about that? We got this last one here, came all the way from Florida. Ooh. Panama City, Florida. I've been to um, Tampa a couple times. I wonder how far away it is from Tampa. I'll have to look it up. But this one is from Brad over at Piney Grove YouTube channel. Piney Grove Homestead. Brad and Deb. What do we got? Oh, he's got a, got a card in here also. It says, thank you for your support, Brad and Deb. Piney Grove Homestead. All right. So Brad has got an awesome channel. He he also just put up a building on his channel, and um, he has a he's got a couple Kubotas, and I'm gonna have to look up. I I'm pretty sure it's a B series Kubota that he has, but he's also got an amazing uh, a bigger Kubota excavator. So if you guys haven't checked out Brad's channel over at Piney Grove Homestead, go check it out. Uh, the last one I watched of his, he had just, uh, the excavator had just broken and he had taken it in and got it fixed. So he was showing us how to chain down his excavator in the last video and a lot of great, a lot of great information. You could tell the, the guy's been around equipment a lot uh, throughout his life and he's passing along that information to guys like me who don't know much about it. So um, that's it for the sticker segment. Let's go ahead and get these onto the roof of my cap. The wind's gonna blow everything away. And gosh, do you think we ought to cover up the warning? I think so. There it is. The first sticker on the ceiling of the original tractor cab is Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead. Piney Grove will go right next to it. Just like that. A shot of the Piney Grove. Very nice. 
Here we go for Mitch's. Oh. Nice. There is Mitch from MJ doing stuff. Piney Grove Homestead and Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead. I appreciate you guys sending me out a sending me out a sticker. If anybody else would like to send me a sticker, just reach out to me and we will get it lined up um, for a swap. So that's it for today's video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 500. I'm sitting at 470 right now, so 30 more. And then at 500, I'm gonna announce a, um, a giveaway. I'm, I'm gonna do a thousand subscriber giveaway. And I think, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be pretty awesome. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that. please hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. And um, if you haven't already noticed, I'm, we're getting ready to, uh, getting the land ready to build a barn dominium, a shouse, a post frame home, whatever you want to call it. There's all kinds of different terminology. Uh, there's a guy by the name of Paul Marshall. He has a YouTube channel called Marshall Remodel. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, you need to go over there and subscribe to him. Um, he's actually got, he puts up post frame buildings himself and he's gonna be putting up our building. So um, he's hired a full-time videographer and an, another employee to help him put up the, the buildings and um, film everything. So he's gonna be doing videos of all of, all of the build and he's got some other builds on his channel that he's currently doing. So please go subscribe to him and tell him you came from Wickard Acres. I'd really appreciate that also.